Hello and welcome to another video here on Proving Grounds. We're gonna do the one here called Sunset Noon Tide. All right, so let's just take the IP address and just push it into the browser. Doesn't seem to do anything, so let's go ahead and start the nmap scan and put in the IP scan for scripts. Of course, uh, new standard scripts and also versions, and just push it ahead. Let's see what we get back now. Now, I'm kind of hoping for we get some good ports. Let's see what we get in this machine. Uh, okay, we got some port 667. It's an IRC, Unreal IRC. I don't think there is anything if I do a full port scan. I do not think that's gonna give me anything in particular, so let's just check it out. The trick with these easy machines is that typically it um, they do not overdo things like having loads of open ports to make it look very realistic. They kind of stick to the this is how it is, you know, in a way. So one port. Okay, so we do have something else going on. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that we're gonna stick to the 667 for now. Let's go ahead and do a search exploit for Unreal. Let's see what we go. Unreal IRC is the one we're gonna get used for. There are a Metasploit one, okay. Okay, so let's boot up Metasploit. Uh, there we go. And I think if this is just a Metasploit room, we're gonna be done pretty fast. But let's see what, what's up. <laughs> so search Unreal and we got a Unreal IRC is an excellent work. Use number two. Um, we have to find a payload of some sort. Um, I'm gonna pick something for this um, because I think, and I was right, there was no payload chosen. So we're gonna set payload to, we could try a standard payload command unit reverse, because it's probably gonna be that. Set our hosts to, and then let's pick the IP address. There we go. And set, well now we're gonna show option for more time. Picked a payload, so L host IP tag A. I'm gonna take the IP address of me, put it in, and what did I do? Let's type run. Um, Sending back to command. It's kind of slow. It's not a good sign. Maybe the payload was not the right one. Um, let's just consult. So, IRC Unreal Meta Sploits. Payload. Okay. Mm so there is a <laughs> hacking tutorial. Let me just see if something pops up here we can use. Okay. The manual way. Pearl. Pearl, let's say Pearl a few times. Pearl script. 
Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. The benefit of doubt is we're gonna set the payload to the reverse pearl. Let's go. Show options. Run. So, it's a wild shot, you know, basically just saying, let's see if Pearl's gonna be our savior. Um, oops. Unreal, so IRC Unreal 6667 exploit. Oh my. Okay, so, yeah, it worked. We have a command shell. Can I write stuff? Oh my, my mia, we are in. We are server. So I just had to put a lid on my, I was cooking some lunch in my car, in, in my kitchen, so. Okay, so we are. Oh wow. Uh, do we have any local here? No? We need to locate local.txt. No? Can we upgrade this shell just a little bit? Do we have Python, for example? Let's try. What did I do? I deleted it. Oh, great. No? Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's just take a look what we have. Directory, source, temp. Where are we in the butt? We are in. Okay, let's go to. There we have our local the text. Let's go take the flag for the first half of the machine. I feel lucky. I don't know why I don't, but it's just you know sometimes hacking is about luck. You know, <laughs> if we do it the right way, you know, and it works. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to get root. Um, there are different ways to get root. We can just check uh, the Etsy password file and see what we have here. We have a root account. Really good, really good. Can I, I don't think I can do this. I'm gonna break it, right? I need to upgrade my shell in a certain way. It's um, bash, take p, bin, bash. Can I do any of it? No. It's very, very bare. So, can I do. Okay, so we have a bash shell. Sudo tagl su no no please don't say that okay so we are so what I would so we don't have that can I clear no variables let's take I want to be able to clear my screen I am like that so let's take the export clear well we're good. So we do have a root folder, don't we? Uh, no, we have an IRC, but we need to gain root. So what we could try now is to go ahead and look for SUID permission set files and see what we get. We're not getting a lot, not really anything. So let's go ahead and try to do linpiece. So. Python 3 server, and let's go and take the IP address of me. It's gonna be this one. Don't forget, HTTP. Boom. Uh, boop. And then 9000 slash in peace. Dot sh. Uh, please don't do that to me. No. Ugh. Okay, let's go to the temp folder. Yeah, 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 I know. WHHP. No, please don't do that. Why is it? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna write it then. 
9000 Thank you. Gonna give it executional rights. Um, like that. Linpiece is basic. Oops. A script that can look for previous escalation vectors. If you find something like this color from it, it's gonna be like a big chance you can exploit it for something. So it kind of informs of us, of us, uh, of us, of us, of us, about you know different kind of things. It's fine and and it's very good. You know, I'm basically just um. So we do have something in the cron tab. And let's just take that. I didn't copy paste it. Let me copy paste. Thank you. So the copy paste gods in the world, they are disagreeing with me sometimes. Thou shall not copy paste the way you're doing. So let's just take that. It could be. It could be. I'm not, I would say that it does look like that we could do something with it, but it... it mm. Okay, so maybe not. Let's just, just check it. So let's check what we got. Um, what do we have? Stuff, more stuff. A uh, lot of stuff. And yes. So we can find software installed, SSH files, no necessary, no, 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 what is that, get text, mm. capabilities, pretty raw, nothing crazy going on. Uh, let's see what we get. Okay, so I guess that kind of sums it up for this particular case here. So, nobody's sure if anything we should try and not try. We could try one of the, you know, the most casual ways to to privesk you know there are different ways you could do that um uh, just gonna check it one more time and by the way this is this is the way you just have to look through it all now I did it so many times I don't think this is uh, it just doesn't look like something because there were no user tied to it. Yeah, so, you know, typically when you change user, you just type SU and, and then you do something. And, and, but I don't think this is, uh, <laughs> Okay, how in the world is this okay? Okay, you know, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> let's see if we can find the legitimate way to do it because I, I is, was this true? Is that it? No password. Did I miss that or something? What is it? Let me see. No. Can I... Can I see the shadow fire? Oh. Holy smokes, I can. Okay, so we do get the... This one here. We do get that, you know, which is... Um, the hash. We can copy paste that to, the, to our own machine. Touch a file and call it root. Dot hash, go into root. Dot hash. 
And oh, just a second. Am I? Am I? Am I? No. Um. What did I do? No, I didn't close it. I did. Snap. All right. All right. We got. The, so I was actually locking that route, which is was this is the way to do it? Okay, I'm not gonna go back. I'm just gonna. I'm just contemplating with myself. Did I miss something? Uh, you know, because I was just talking about you can change user and and you. I just type root and then I type root more time and the clear takes password terminal. I don't have root in this machine, but it's it's like wow. Maybe that that was the wow factor we needed to look for. So let's shut the video down. So that's it for this one. You know, sunset noon tide. We did it. See you again online.